from Know How to Draw Celtic Patterns. I'm your host Jason Bellchamber and right now we're going to start constructing our grid to uh, transpose the grid we've drawn on the photo so we can make our own. So let's get a mechanical pencil and your straight edge. We're gonna make a two by two grid. Just draw on the outsides. Measure this so it's nice and straight. Great. Okay. So let's choose which one we want to start with. I think I'm going to start with that side right there. So take your pencil and what I'm going to do is get my nice 2B. Get a hard pencil. This, this one's an HP. And uh, we're just going to mark the spots where the outlines exit this square. So that's about halfway. The neck is just pretty much halfway. And then the curve of the inside of the neck right beside the cheek, likely about like that. That's about halfway, so that's the horn. Beginning of the head. And that's about where it reaches to. Up in this portion, I'm just gonna actually get the curvature, I'm just going to draw a freehand line there. So we know that that in here has a nice arch to it. So there's the back of the neck. This portion comes down a bit. And then it angles quite straight for the ear. And our horns First tag, let me see. This one has a bit of a curve, almost meets it. Goes up there. Just gonna draw the the base of our antlers here. So I'm following this curve and it, it almost changes direction and goes up here. So, how many points is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like he's a seven point buck. The stag represents strength and unbridled wildness as well. Okay, so we've got that portion. Now we're going to get this one as well. So I'm just moving that over a bit. Freehand that cross line right here. Okay. About halfway, a little, little to the left of halfway, that's about where the bottom of the rump curve comes up. And you'll notice a really pleasing line here. So, and just checking where this meets. So, there. And there. So this goes up here and meets there. Then it goes down and reaches up again for the cheek of our stag. Where does this guy go? If we mark here, yeah, it looks like it's about halfway, so I figure that's halfway. The antlers. And points the antlers just reach to there. Remember, you're doing this freehand and then you're gonna ink it afterwards. So we're penning and ink it. So I'm kind of pleased with the way that that looks. 
So I'm going to move into this square here. Just lightly do that line there. And let's start marking where it exits. That goes up there. This is about halfway. And let's see. Nothing's really halfway there. We have to approximate this. side. This angles up quite a bit. We can accent the hooves afterwards, but they're pretty small, again, because they're not the distinguishing feature of right there, of um, the animal as an icon. This distinguishing feature is going to be the head profile. Okay, let's do this side. I'll move this over so you can see. So right now we're in this grid right here, okay? So let's mark exit points. There's only that one. I think I might want to make this angle come down a bit more like this. Because that looks like it's about halfway, and that is the halfway mark. I'm going to lightly put in this cross line, and then the tail, it's about halfway, it's about the same level as this, so we can start the tail there, we know that it meets there, so we've got quite a nice angle there, and then it turns, and then it's got a short little tail, this guy meets here, This back leg goes almost as, just imagine this corner here. Now let's draw that one. So that draw starts at the line here. It's a little more of the mass of the back haunches here. Okay, so what do I want to do? Let's draw this curly cue. I'm starting with the centers of them. Okay, and I'm marking around this way. to follow this haunch right there. And then the outer one. Okay, this one starts at right at the corner, I would say. So Okay, what do we want to change about this so it looks proportional in our drawing, right? Yeah, that's the proportions of it, right? The 
this this line here might be a little more like that. Okay, so now we're gonna start to ink it.